Hello. Now, you may be asking yourself, how can I get Jellyfin on my Samsung TV? Well, since I know that many people have been struggling to get this thing to work, I think it's on my job to help people install this on their own Samsung TV. Now, for starters, I don't like how shitty the tutorials are on YouTube, especially when you have to deal with, I, okay, you have to install this this thing on this thing, and, I, and I'm going to be a total jackass and show you how to install Samsung TV Jellyfin on my shitty Android TV. Well, I think it's my job to decrap this crappy YouTube search results on how to get this application on your Samsung TV. For starters, many people have tried to get this thing to work via store and download. I'm going to go on record and say you're never going to get this on the App Store. Secondly, many people have tried to install this and I've seen comment sections of people saying, I can't get this to work. I can't get this to work. I've tried millions of times and I can't get this to work. I'm struggling to get this to work. I have to go through fucking Tizen, Ryzen and install it. I can't connect it to my TV. I can't do this shit. And, and trust me, I've been there. I've been there for two fucking years to install this thing. I've stood up late. I stood up four hours to finally actually find an answer to get this thing installed. Now, I think, again, it's my job because many fucking Indian tech support scam artists and many fucking videos that are just so smart out of their ass can just say, oh, I could install this. Here's how it is. And yet many people fucking install it and fail. But now I found a way that you can properly install this shit once and for all so you wouldn't have to struggle with installing this piece of fucking crap software on your Samsung TV. Holy fucking shit. All right, let's get this started. So first off, you need to have your TV set to developer mode. Now, here's how you do it. You press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You got to do this until you have access to a menu. It's going to show up. Hold on. All right, there we go. As long as you keep pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you're going to have access to this menu. Now, first off, you have to have developer mode on. Now, because I have developer mode on, I don't need to do this. You need to have developer mode on. After that, you have to find your PC's IP address. All right, so you're going to have to go to the start menu. Type in I type in command prompt. You're going to type in command prompt. All right. Hold on a second. Is it recording everything? I think I'm just going to go for a smaller screen. Oh, never mind. Okay. So first off, you go to the start menu. Then you type in command prompt. It'll be right here. Now, left click and run as administrator. Click yes. Now, here's how you look for your PC's IP address. Now, type in IP config. Let me do this again so you won't get lost. You go to command prompt on the start menu. Then you left click and run as administrator. You click yes. And then you type in IP 
E C O N F I G. Lowercase, no space, and then type in enter. Now, you're going to look for something that says IP4 address. This, you're going to look for IP4 address, and it has to match, and it has to be this. This is what you're going to need in order to connect to your TV. Now, write this down. Write this on a piece of paper. Write it as computer IP, and you write this information down. Now, um, here's another step that you must do. Go back to developer mode and then put in the IP address from your own computer from step two. You need to get your PC's IP already put into developer mode. Now, after you get your, your IP address from your computer, you're going to need to get your IP address from, for your TV. Now, how do, I, how do you get that? Well, first click on settings from your TV remote, like so. Next, you go to generals. Then you click on networks. Then click on network status. Then you're going to click on IP settings. Then get a piece of paper and write down IP address. And it's the first thing you'll see on the IP settings. Make sure you have that written down. From your own TV, not mine, okay? Now, once you have everything installed, um, no. now, once you have your device IP, your computer IP, it's time to download an, the app. Now, first off, you're going to have to go and download something called, um, oh, where's my mouse? Here it is. Now, you're going to download something called Tizen Brew Device Manager. Now. Where do I find Tizen Brew Device Manager? Well, you're going to have to go to GitHub. And I will be linking that below. And at this point, I am going to also show you how where to download via photos because people have issues all the damn time. Now, I'm going to be linking this in the description. You're going to download Tizen Brew Device Manager, and you're going to make sure to download Tizen Brew Device Manager 64setup.exe. This is what you need in order to get the app. Now, once you download that, make sure to install it via desktop. Don't install it on another hard drive. Don't install it on, on a separate drive it's going to be confusing trust me on this and it should look something like this tizen brew now once you get tizen brew you're going to click connect devices now here is where you're going to type in your tv's ip address the one that i told you to write down on a separate sheet of paper and write TBIP. Now here it is. You're gonna type in the app. Now you have the IP address. You have the IP address written down on the developer mode from your computer for like okay the ip address that you have on your computer 
you have to write that down on the developer mode menu on your Samsung TV. I've already showed a video on where you're supposed to put your PC's IP address on. You put it on your TV. Then on here, you put in your TV's IP address, like so. Now, once you made sure that in the developer mode menu, you have your PC's IP address already written down, then you go to your computer and you make sure you do the same on Tyson Brew. Now, click connect. And if you made sure that both of these have their individual IP addresses already written down on these command menu things, on these programs. Oh, there was an issue. Okay, I see. Don't worry. Okay, silly me. Now, once you made sure that your TV and your PC have their own individual IP addresses, your PC has your TV's IP address, your TV has your PC's IP address, you have to connect it now. And if it connects, then you did it right. If you didn't do it right, then there's something wrong. So I'm going to have to explain this again. Uh, here it is okay so if you have this issue there is an error connecting to your device make sure the ip is correct the device is on and you make changes to the host ip address in developer mode of the of the device then you've done something wrong now go back to your tv and make sure that it has your pc's ip address Now, okay, I'm going to do this step. Now, if you have that prompt on your Tizen Brew, it's a simple answer. You don't have your TV on. Now, make sure you have your stupid TV on, please. Now, once you've made sure your TV's on, once you made sure you're in the app menu, once you make sure it has the correct IP, and you make sure you you have the IP on your of your TV written down. Write it on the Tyson Brew app. All right. All right. And you click connect, and there we go. Successfully connected to your device. You can now manage your devices. Then you did it correctly. Now, it's time to get the Jellyfin app. Now let's uninstall this app on here so I can show you what to do. Because apparently nobody knows what to do. Okay. So now that you've made sure that your Tizen app is installed and connected to your TV, it's time to install Jellyfin. Now, because I'm going to show you how to install it, I'm going to uninstall Jellyfin on my TV. All right, it's not on my TV. You see it there. It's right there. You see it? It's my fucking TV, okay? All right. So now that we've made sure that Jellyfin's not on my TV, close the Tizen app, Brew app. You know, I'm going to close it, and I'm going to open it. Now, you're going to need 
a file called Jellyfin 1010Z widget. Or if there's any other, you know, Jellyfin application that I don't know of, you know, I'm going to have to reinstall, uh, you know, download it. Now, anyways, I'll show you where to download it, where to get the file. You don't need to build it. You don't need to make a certificate. You don't need to go to Docker and install it directly from their website because it's so tedious. You're going to need to download this, and I will... I will provide links below the description in order for you to get this widget app. Now, well, again, let me just, you know, show you where to get it. Okay, so once you have everything set up, you know, you get a device manager, again, you click on connect device, you type in your device IP, you go to apps, click on install apps, choose files, then you find the file that I've showed you how to, where to download, which is called Jellyfin 1010Z WGT. You click on that, then you click install. And then you're going to see this install app, blah, blah, blah. Install is true, blah, blah, blah. It's already installed. If it says it's installed, it's done correctly. Uh, sorry that I did not record this part of the video. Um, I was kind of in like a heat of the moment. But I think I'll figure it out. If, uh, again, I'm going to make a little recap to show you little step by steps of what you need to do if you have no idea what to do in the video i'll provide a checklist uh that way you guys can keep track on what to do now to check if you have jellyfin you go to your settings on your tv or you know just go to the home button and you'll find it there just go to the, go to here all right let me get my remote And there it is, Jellyfin. Now, if you don't see it on settings, if you don't see it right here in developer mode, you click on the home button and you scroll left until you see this, this giant arrow thing. Then you go to move to add to home. And there we go. Now, let's if you want to make sure this thing is properly installed, check it. Click on the app right there you click on the app it's loading you see it see my hand it's loading there we go it's jellyfin and there you go you successfully installed jellyfin onto your samsung tv now you don't need to do anything else you don't need to build the app you don't need to do any ties and certificate you don't need to use the docker you don't need to do millions of codes anyone can figure this out stupid you just need to do all this to get this installed on your samsung tv now i hope this helped and if you have any questions please do not bother me i've already explained it through fucking detail